What are you making? Bucks. We're making hot chocolate. Actually, I'm making hot cocoa and Heidi's making hot chocolate. We're making hot chocolate. Actually, I'm making hot cocoa and Heidi's making hot chocolate. Or backwards, I don't know. One's with water and one's with milk. I know there's a difference, I don't remember what it is, so. I don't know. Ken, um, Ken wanted to start a new segment called Hot Chocolate with That's Ken. That's right, we should start a new segment. It's gonna be called Hot Chocolate with Ken. And I will have a cup of hot chocolate. And the expectation is when you tune in, you also have a cup of hot chocolate, and we just discuss things. It'd be mostly a one-sided conversation, but we just discuss things, and it'd be lovely. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, and we are going to go ahead and do a one take today, even though we did it earlier in the week, because I wanted to take a break earlier in the week, and today is our break day normally. Um, we went to FPU just now. Um, Financial Peace University. Yeah, Financial Peace University, which we've been talking about a lot. We've already done it, but we decided to go ahead and do it again because some of our friends wanted to take the class, and they're like, is it worth it? And we're like, yeah, what the heck? Once you pay for it, you get to go as many times as you want. If you go, we'll go twice. So um, we just came back from that, and I've come to the realization that it was really hard to take Rosalind to it. The first time that we went to FPU, like the environment was very different. There's another baby there. Yeah, there were other kids, and it was totally a place where, like, you could have, um, where you could have your toddler just run around. But today was a much seemed much more structured, and I wonder if like we're gonna need to either figure out a babysitter. The problem is, our friends who are going are our friends who we usually rely on to babysit for us. So I don't know. We don't really have a babysitter, but um, I'm excited about it, and it was actually really enjoyable, even though like one of us had to take a break each time. Yeah, but we've, we've already been through it once before, so it was like, it's not like we weren't missing anything we hadn't seen before. Yeah, no, we were there, um, we were there because it's, it's fun and we've already done it and our friends wanted to do it. So, Ken's making this hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I did this because Dave, it's cheaper. What? It's oh, cheaper. Oh, wait, wait, it just mess up my, my ingredient here, Heidi. I'm sorry. I'm very precise when I make hot chocolate. You're very precise. I'm not. I'm, I'm not very precise at all. Precise. I wish we had a kitchen scale. I would totally just measure out grams on like a little weigh boat. Do you think that you could hold the camera real quick so I can go turn this light on? Yes. Yeah, because the lighting's really weird. Box, you're going to help me make hot chocolate. <laughs> so you take the scoop. Take, take the scoop. Here, we'll just kind of... Can you see better, Box? Help you out. And we, we're going to add some. And, oh. Depth of perception through the camera is hard. I'm just gonna <laughs> peek over your shoulder here. There we go. And then we mix that part. So anyways, it was really fun because it felt almost like a date night, almost like a double date, which is like ridiculous that we're like, oh, it's a date night. We went to Financial Peace University and brought our kid with us. But like getting out and doing something with another couple with a friend. Well, and there's something that's there's something very kind of you know romantic about talking about finances. You know, romantic so. for you, nerd. <laughs> Ken, are you so excited about tomorrow? Um, yeah, I am. Why are you excited about because tomorrow? It's the last day of school, a main school, and graduation day and everything like that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting. Um, and students get out at lunch, and then I have to sit around because I'm on contract. But <laughs> no, I have to clean my room up, okay? But clean up my room, students are graduating, got the graduation, and afterwards, by the way, Heidi, uh, um, one of my coworkers is having a shindig at their house after the graduation, so our family's been invited to that. We should talk about this later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just remind me. <laughs> but school will be done, and then it's on to summer school. Yeah. Yeah, school is done, I am done, and I've got Friday off, and I actually want to talk to you about that too, what I'm going to be doing on Friday. I'd like to take some time and schedule it for gaming purposes, because a certain somebody also has that time off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. I think that would probably be fine. My parents are coming down this weekend too because of um, Memorial Day. And there's something really exciting happening on Saturday at the library. I don't know if we're gonna go to it or not. Do you think we're gonna go? For what? The Minicon? Oh yeah, I assume so. Okay, then we need to come up with costumes. No we don't. Um, yes or, we do. Or we could do what I saw on the internet and do five dollar costumes. Okay, what are your five dollar costumes? I don't know, but like people just do five dollar costumes and they do things like Iron Man and they, they like strap an iron to themselves and stuff like that. Like five dollar costume. Or we could take one of our already awesome costumes that we already have from years past we and wear have, that to Minicon. We actually have any of those so I think we still have the Alice in Wonderland costumes and your Iron Man costume. Thank you. No. Can I have some marshmallows, please? Oh, yeah, sorry, my bad. That's the best part. That's the whole reason I bought the hot chocolate was just for the marshmallows. True story. Um, I think we still have your Iron Man costume, though. Oh, no. Two years ago for Halloween, oh, no. Ken was Iron Man, and we had like a whole group of friends. We all, always used to do this. We haven't recently, or since Rousin's been born. But um, we always used to do like this big event and we'd have a whole bunch of friends and we'd all go as like a theme costume. So a couple years ago we all went as the Avengers and I was Black Widow and Ken was Iron Man and we had Captain America. Our friend Garrett, you've met him, he was Captain America. Our friend Josh, who you haven't met, which makes me very sad. Yeah. He watches sometimes. So if you're, if you're watching Josh, say hi. Um, but he came as Thor. And we had, I mean, we had a Loki. It was, it was good times. I mean, it was, it was a, it was kind of the college chapter of our lives. And you know, we, we turned the page. People moved away and everything. And it was just really good times, though. But you know, you we weren't part have... of that time box. I'm sorry. It's okay though, because you're part of this chapter of our lives. You know. Do you know what we could wear though? What? We could wear our Doctor Who costumes. Oh, we totally could. Like we could just totally reuse the, either the Rory Amy TARDIS costume, although we might need a new TARDIS costume for Rosalind. Or you could be the doctor and I could try and figure out how I did my Weeping Angel thing again. I just want to sidestep here, change gears. This is how you're supposed to do marshmallows. We've been talking about this <laughs> like yeah. four days in a row now is the mini marshmallows. Kendra... Because they're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I can't talk because I'm chewing. <laughs> Here, come here, Box. Let me teach you how to make hot chocolate. You already taught Box how to make hot chocolate. No, no. Box helped me make hot chocolate. It's different. See? A lot of people make the mistake of adding all the powder at once. And if you do that, you form, for various <laughs> physical and chemical reasons, you form powder clumps. You don't want that because it sticks to the side of the thing. And oh, then I it like seals, the clump at the end. And, and it's just a nightmare. So what you do is you add a small amount. Like that. You make the sound effects. They're important. Important, you make the sound effects. And then you stir... And then you add some more, and then you stir. So it's all about uh, incremental adding. Exactly, you just add incremental. Now, Heidi and I were just having a discussion about milk versus water for hot chocolate. I prefer water. And I think that's just ridiculous. I think you absolutely need milk. I think that it's a shame that this is, what, 2% milk? Whole milk is what you should have. Really, I just think this should just be cream. Ew. <laughs> Maybe not that far, but whole milk. Ew. Whole milk, for sure, I think is, makes the best hot chocolate. And our dogs are very excited that we're home, aren't you, Calypso? They kind of haven't gotten much attention today because I took Rosalind to the park with Chloe. I was watching Chloe earlier today. Chloe, Rosalind, Calypso, I don't know your name. Calypso, let me pet Apollo. Calypso, what are you doing? See, very starved for attention. Um, but we literally just got home from the FPU thing. So our dogs, whenever we take them out of the kennel, they just like freak out and they run all over the house and all that stuff. Um, so yeah. Yeah, you guys are still excited, aren't you? I think that we're actually at the end of our one take. No, we're not. No, I think we are. What, what are we at? Nine minutes. Wow, these go so fast. I know. I hope that we said something substantial or I won't know what to title the vlog. Milk or water? That's what I want to know. Down below, milk or water, which is better? Yeah. Okay. Let us know down below what, what you prefer. Okay. And and also, a fundamental question, and that is, can you ever have too many mini marshmallows? Oh, that's a give me question. That's, Everyone knows the answer to that. You can't have too many yeah. marshmallows. 
I'm gonna use this whole container tonight. That's what's gonna happen. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed our little one take, a little snippet of our day. Hit the subscribe button. We do videos on this channel every single day, and if you subscribe, you won't miss it. Tomorrow should be a normal video. Um, and thumbs up for one takes. I don't know. Thumbs up because you like the, us. Thumbs up for these things. Yeah. Woo! We've already done thumbs up for the marshmallows. Again, it's worth it. Look at all the marshmallows. Oh my gosh. The, oh, wow. Well, we lost one. You Tom. just got Man a cavity. Down. Man down. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, box. Heidi. Yeah? What are you doing? I'm um, washing the greens that I stole from the witch's garden. Whoa. Let's try that again. Greens, greens, and nothing but greens. I let her go. I didn't know she'd stolen my beans. Let's try that again. Um, one of our friends <laughs> has a garden. Uh -oh, has a garden and gave us a whole bunch of romaine lettuce and some spinach and all kinds of stuff. It makes me wish that I hadn't killed our basil. Wait, you killed our basil? Well, I think it might come back to life, but I didn't water it while we were gone. 